Good morning, Rizal. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to the Romaniac Sparkle. It's the first one of the, the day. Everybody's feeling a bit tired this morning, but I'm yeah. sure you're going to sparkle. Um, could you, first of all, tell us what's been your major writing highlight so far? My major writing highlight was I won an award earlier this year from the European Science Fiction Society. Wow. It was the best children's writing, because I write young adult. Uh, it was the best, uh, best children's author for 2015. So wow. it was incredibly exciting. Um, I didn't even know I was nominated. I found out the night before by a, a friend of mine was at the conference in St. Petersburg and he sent me a message going, did you know you're nominated for this? <laughs> and um, yeah, it, it, uh, I won, which was even more of a surprise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so they had to bring back uh, a group of people I know who were over there brought back the trophy and the certificate. So it's now sitting on my mantelpiece and it's lovely. Oh, fabulous. That was definitely my highlight. Just talked about this afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so far, what's been the toughest thing that you've come across as a writer? The, the, I think with every writer, when they are on the path to publication, and even when you are published, there's a plateau you reach where you're almost there. Yeah. And it goes on, it seems, forever. And all of the, any rejections you get come back going, we really liked this, but we have something like it, it's not quite there, I can't put my finger on it. And there's that awful time where you're just not quite there, and then of course the moment comes where you just get over that final hurdle and you get published. And I think that's the hardest and also the most rewarding bit uh, all rolled into one. Yeah. Um, and what's happening next? Is there anything you could tell us about it in the pipeline um, yeah. now? Yeah, I am uh, working, I'm doing the proofs of Hollow in the Hills, which is the sequel to A Crack in Everything, which is my latest YA. That will be out in September, 7th of September, from a brand press in Dublin, but it's widely available. And um, I have to start writing the third one now. Right. So it's very exciting. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Yay. Yay. Welcoming Cleo Cornish to the oh. Romaniac Sparkle Corner, <laughs> and I'm just going to ask her a little bit about her job and what is your major highlight so far in your career. I think you're going to hate me for giving a non answer, but <laughs> my highlights are always to do with finding great submissions and finding new authors. And I've worked with so many brilliant authors that it would be really unfair to pick just one. <laughs> but I think every time I, you know, I'm in my acquisition meeting with my colleagues, got a new submission on my desk and I start reading and it just grabs me, that's a highlight every single time. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, yeah, and what, what's been the toughest time over the career so far, writing wise? I think the toughest thing, the toughest thing about being an editor is what brings you to the job is definitely a love of books. And you've got to remember that the reason that we're publishing, the reason that I get paid every month is because the books have got to sell. So the hardest thing I think is about taking a book that you start reading, you have that moment where it grabs you, but then having to articulate it in terms that the sales team and the marketing team and the design team can all also be enthusiastic about because just running up to someone and going, oh my God, I love the best thing ever, isn't going to cut it. And I think that's a real challenge about being an editor is kind of distancing yourself from the sub subjectivity and just loving reading yeah. and then executing that in a commercial and kind of professional business focused way. Brilliant. And, and what are your plans for the future if you've got any short term or long term career plans? Well, we're at Harlequin at a really exciting point now, actually, because we're moving into London Bridge with Harper Collins, who we're now becoming part of. So, my next steps for career development are learning how to work the lifts, <laughs> um, which honestly are far more complicated than it's even possible to understand, um, finding the loos, and just making the most of what is an incredible opportunity for Harlequin and our authors and Harper Collins. They've got yeah. us on board. Yeah. 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 Welcome Liz Harris to our Romaniac Sparkle Corner. Hi Liz, thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for inviting <laughs> me to join you. Well, we're hoping you could start off by major, um, telling us what you would consider your major writing highlight so far in your career. Well, I think everybody would probably say the moment they learned that they were going to be published. And mine came through the computer, in fact, the email, and my husband was out. And I could not wait, it's about the first time I've been unable to wait for his return. And when he came home, I was standing at the door, smiling and laughing, and he kind of looked at me a bit strangely, it's a rather unusual pose, and he came past me, and I said to him, um, I've heard from Chocolate. And he then 
looked at me and I burst into tears. And he came up to me with his arms outstretched, hugged me and said, I'm really sorry, but there will be someone who will take you. And I managed to let him know that these were tears of absolute joy that I had been accepted for publication. So then I got another hug. And so what's been the hardest thing? The hardest thing, I think, was the year after I was accepted for publication. There was a year between being accepted and that chocolate said they would take the road back and then later, the following year in October, almost 12 months later, the road back was coming out and that year was colossally difficult because I didn't have another book in the same genre so I had to start writing one from scratch and you automatically feel under pressure when a publisher tells you how much they love your book and they're really looking forward to reading the next that is pressure. I'm sure we all feel that I've done it once but can I ever do it again? Yeah. And at the same time as you're doing the next book, mine being from scratch, I didn't have anything in the bottom drawer unfortunately. You are doing the edits that gradually will come on the first book. You're doing all things relating to promotion. You're getting your website set up. You're going on Twitter and Facebook. You're blogging. You're doing cover approval because we're very lucky at Chocolate. We're allowed to have a say in our cover. There are a thousand things you're doing. And of course, the edits are three stages. It isn't one stage. So every time you think you've done them, they come back again. And then you've got the proofs to be all that at the same time as you're doing another book that has to be handed in because your deadline is about the same time as the first book is coming out. So it was very, very stressful. I exhaust myself by saying that to you now. But that is the truth. That was the hardest yeah. thing. Yeah. And so what are you working on at the moment? What are we going to uh, see next? Well, you've just seen Evie Undercover, which came out digitally and did very well, so Chocolate decided to bring it out as a paperback. Oh, yes. That came out this week, actually, oh, last okay. Tuesday, <laughs> in paperback, and we celebrated it with present, <laughs> naturally, because it's set in Old Maria. Of course. Yes, oh, with yeah. the Oxford Lunch Group. <laughs> and that is my first rom-com in paperback. Mm. And that was great fun to write, it's contemporary. But my, I suppose the main line are the historical fiction that have a love story with them. Yeah. The Road Back, followed by A Bargain Struck. Mm -hmm. And I also have a novella that came out last year, set in Wyoming, A Western Heart. Um, so the next book, I have returned to Wyoming. In October, Golden Tiger comes out, set in Wyoming, 1870s and 1880s. But I don't like going back to the same idea, the same scenery. Mm -hmm. So whereas a bargain struck is Wyoming agriculture and homestead, and Western Heart is ranching families in ranching land, and the book that's coming out next, Golden Tiger, is set in southwest Wyoming, and that is mining territory. That's very arid land. Well, that's it's, nice. it's fun to do different descriptions. Yes, you don't yeah. want to keep on repeating the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, that sounds, yeah, that sounds wonderful. Thank you very much, Liz. Thank you for inviting me. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, that's great. Thank you.